In the first part of symmetricities in Fourier series, we completed three types of symmetries even symmetry, odd symmetry, and half wave symmetry. Now, in part two, we will complete the remaining three types of symmetries and we will start with odd plus half wave symmetry. In this particular type of symmetry, there are two types of symmetries. The first one is odd symmetry and the second one is half wave symmetry. And now we will analyze the effect on Fourier series expansion because of these two symmetries individually. And after that, we will combine all the effects to get the final conclusion. We will first talk about half wave symmetry. In the last presentation, we saw whenever the given signal is half wave symmetric, the Fourier series expansion will contain only odd harmonics. So in Fourier series expansion, we will have only odd harmonics. And if you see the example waveform of a half wave symmetric signal, you will find the average value, the average value is equal to zero. When you calculate the average value, you will find it is equal to zero because the positive area will be cancelled out by the negative area. And average value is equal to A0 and A0 is equal to C0. So these are two important results because of half wave symmetry. And now we will talk about odd symmetry. We already know when the given signal is an odd signal, the Fourier series expansion will have only sign terms. Will have only sign terms. And this implies Bn is not equal to zero. An is equal to zero and A0 is also equal to zero. We are getting A0 equal to zero from both the symmetries and now we will combine all these important results and we will have the final conclusion. We can see A0 is zero, therefore no DC term will be present in the Fourier series expansion. An is also equal to zero, so no cosine terms are present in the Fourier series expansion. Bn is not equal to zero. This means only sine terms are present. And also we are not having even harmonics. We are having only odd harmonics. So only sine terms are present with odd harmonics. So this is the final conclusion. Whenever we have odd half wave symmetric signal, the Fourier series expansion will have only sign terms with odd harmonics. Now we will move to the next type of symmetry, which is even plus half wave symmetry. This symmetry is formed by two symmetries. The first one is even symmetry and the second one is half wave symmetry. So even half wave symmetry will occur when the given signal is even signal as well as half wave symmetric signal. Now we will discuss the half wave symmetry first and we already know whenever the given signal is half wave symmetric, the Fourier series expansion will have A0 equal to zero and only odd harmonics are present. So when the given signal is half wave symmetric, A0 is equal to zero and only odd harmonics are present. Now we will talk about even symmetry and we already know from the last lecture that whenever the given signal is an even signal, the Fourier series expansion will not have sign terms, will not have sign terms. This implies coefficient bn is equal to zero. And now we will obtain the final conclusion. You can see a0 is equal to zero and also bn is equal to zero. This means no DC term and sign terms are present in the Fourier series expansion. An is not equal to zero. An is not equal to zero. So we have cosine terms. Therefore, the Fourier series expansion will have only cosine 
terms and also you can see we have only odd harmonics so only cosine terms are present with odd harmonics so this is the final conclusion of even plus half wave symmetry and now we will see one example of even plus half wave symmetry in this example waveform when you perform the time reversal this means when you flip the signal waveform about the y-axis you will get the same signal this means signal xt is an even signal and also it satisfies the condition of half wave symmetry so xt is also half wave symmetric so we can say that we have a signal which is even as well as half wave symmetric therefore when you obtain the Fourier series expansion you will only get cosine terms with odd harmonics so we can write the Fourier series expansion of signal xt as a1 cos omega naught t plus a3 cos 3 omega naught t plus a5 cos 5 omega naught t and so on you can see we have only cosine terms and also the frequency is the odd multiple of fundamental frequency omega naught so this particular expansion is the expansion of even and half wave symmetric signal and this is how the waveform will look for an even half wave symmetric signal now we will move to the next type of symmetry which is an important symmetry it is hidden symmetry we have already completed different types of symmetries and in this case we will deal with the symmetries which are hidden in order to understand how to deal with hidden symmetry we will take one example in this example the waveform of signal y it is given and we are required to find trigonometric Fourier series expansion and let's say four options are given in the question option a option b option c and option d we already know the process to find trigonometric Fourier series expansion from the signal waveform but the process is lengthy you cannot use that process to find the answer of an objective question we are having less time and therefore we will focus more on properties and symmetries if you compare signal yt with signal xt you will find yt can be easily obtained after performing the upward amplitude shifting so yt is equal to xt after performing the amplitude shifting by a naught and we already know signal xt is an even half wave symmetric signal therefore signal xt will have only cosine terms with odd harmonics and signal yt will have dc term along with cosine terms with odd harmonics and you are having four options whichever option is having dc term along with cosine terms with odd harmonics is going to be your answer so this is how you have to identify the hidden symmetry we will solve few more questions based on hidden symmetry and this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one